you, Mr. Speaker. Next week, I will attend a Remembrance Day ceremony in Shea Heights. On the monument in front of the community center in Shea Heights, there are over 150 names of men and women who have served in World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. As we prepare for November the 11th, I would like to recognize our veterans, our Newfoundland Regiment, Newfoundland Foresters, Merchant Marines, Peacekeepers, and all of those who have served to preserve our freedoms. We enjoy our freedoms today because our veterans have fought for those freedoms. Many of the men and women who fought for us did not make it home. We live in a society that allows freedom of speech. We live in a democracy. We live in a part of the world where we generally feel safe. These benefits came at great cost. At Beaumont Tamil, for example, only 68 of almost 800 troops answered the call the morning after battle. As we stand with our veterans on November the 11th, let us remember those who left home and did not make it back. Let us be thankful to the veterans in attendance, and let us remember those who give us what we most often take for granted, our freedoms.